Hey friends, so I am not the best when it comes to Dark Souls games. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh god, okay, even worse now. I died. Fecker, the absolute feckin' fecker. But I thought that I would be the best person to answer the question, can you beat Dark Souls with a spoon? I got the idea because you know what? The most terrifying thing to an Irish man is an Irish mammy with a wooden spoon. You might not be intimidated yet, but that's just because this wooden spoon happens to be kind of a small one. But I'm sure this will go really well. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. All right, let me show you that spoon size doesn't matter. It's the way you stir the pot. Oh god, am I gonna be able to do anything to him? Anyway, time to create our Irish mammy. So this is our guy. Um, yeah, I, I wanted the lore to be accurate, so he, he's been hit a lot with spoons. Also, his name is Spoon Lord. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I think I have made a mistake when it comes to character creation. Okay, and my wooden spoon should be in here. Yes, it is. Hey, um, you wanna, you wanna spoon? I love spooning. Oh no, I don't wanna be the little spoon, goodbye. God damn it, what size spoon does he have? And I am gone. Okay, even an Irish mammy might not be able to beat you. Well, actually a real one definitely would, but I'm just cosplaying. Wait a second, this dude is hacking. These arrows are following me. What the hell? That's it. I'll decapitate you myself with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, just try and run. He's <laughs> realized I'm an Irish mammy. It's over. Your time has come. Longsword? Why would I need that? Die! Die to cutlery! <laughs> Jesus, that took a lot of hits. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Here, take this. I don't want your pity. Die to my spoon. Oh, this this might take a while. All right, hold on. Sorry, this is a really painful way to go. Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> it's going so slowly. Oh my God, this is going to take forever. I would hate to harm you after death. <laughs> Still, after all I'm doing to you? <sighs> Trust me, this is a mercy killing. It's for your own good. Uh, we're almost there. There we go. Why? Sorry, dude, I'm leveling up my spoon. So a little trick with the wooden spoon is it can actually power up. Every time I kill something, it just gets a little bit stronger and a little bit bigger. I tell you, it doesn't feel very powered up. Oh no, oh no, all of a sudden my spoon doesn't seem like it's up to the task. What is that guy doing? He's just hitting rocks. Die, die, die. Oh, I love spooning with the undead. Well, when it goes in my favor anyway. Die, yes, I am the spoon lord. Look at him. Look at the way he's looking at me and his weapon. And I'm just standing here with a spoon. Ow. And I'm dead. You died. Thank you for clarifying. And then he shows me his ass. Great. Okay, I think it's time to bring out my secret weapon that I've never used before. How many times have I played Dark Souls type games on the channel? And no one has told me about locking on. Like, no one. Literally, no one. Well, I learned about it recently, and I think it's time to break out that skill because I've been struggling. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so much easier. <laughs> I can't believe I've never used this. Look at me rolling like a pro now that I can lock on. Oh my god, I'm so good at spooning. I see why they call me the Spoon Lord. And when I say they, I mean me. I, I call myself the Spoon Lord. No one has respected that name yet. Can I sneak up on him with my spoon and just, like, execute him with it? Oh, wow. <laughs> the animation's a bit funky. A good spoon to the lower back. Can I dual wield this? Like, like with both hands, I mean? I don't want to use two spoons. That would be overpowered. A shield? Why would I need that when I've got both my hands on my spoon? The way he throws it now. <laughs> There we go, those are some good spoon hits. I grow stronger every time I kill one of you. Keep coming, I dare you. This guy I'm not really a fan of. He's a bit too strong for me, but I want to try and get a few kills to power up this damn spoon, because I know it's only gonna get worse. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Just casually looking for an escape, that's all. Okay, I don't think there's an escape. I may have taken a wrong turn. Take that. And that. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, <laughs> that was so cool. No, that pillar does not protect me. No, <laughs> he doesn't let me get up. He has no mercy. You know, don't get me wrong. I have been absolutely pathetic in this fight, but I feel like I'm actually getting some sort of rhythm now, but I fear it's too late because of my health. I just keep hitting him in the ass. That's my strategy. <laughs> 
Holy shit, am I gonna win a fight by using a wooden spoon? <laughs> come on, come on, hit him, hit him. Did I, I, did I kill him? Oh my God, I actually beat a boss with a wooden spoon. Oh my God, Spoon Lord, you've earned that name. We will all call you the Spoon Lord from now on. Okay, second boss I've ever beaten in these games. I need to save, I need to save. Ancient legends, it is stated. The Spoon Lord shall rise. Honestly, this boss battle was huge for me. Like, I've only beaten one boss, and that was in Elden Ring. And honestly, it felt like kind of a crappy boss. Like, I went into its cave. It was just chilling there. It wasn't bothering anyone. If anything, I was the bad guy. And he was a little bit pathetic. You know, I, I didn't get a, a huge ego boost after, but this... This, this fueled me. I liked this one. Oh my god, I'm leveling up. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, what do we have here? I'm Spoon Man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, undead. I'm either gonna spoon ya or spoon ya. I'll leave you pick which one you want. Okay, I might be getting cocky now. <laughs> Was that a rat or a horse? Because it really sounded like a horse. Well, I don't know what it was, and I don't know what it is, because it seems to be stuck in the wall. Undeadburg. That is the worst name for a neighborhood ever. It's just so uncreative. It's the nearby town called Undeadville. Are they all this lazy? Die, boxes. No match for my wooden spoon. <laughs> Has my spoon gotten bigger? It looks like it may have gotten a bit bigger. Sorry, I'm not insecure about my spoon size or anything. I was just curious if you thought that. You know, your opinion really matters to me. Oh my god, I feel like I'm fighting better than I ever have, and I'm using what appears to be an awful weapon. I think maybe it's just the lock-on, to be honest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bit of disrespect to the dead there. A wooden shield. Oh, fantastic. I can make this into more wooden spoons. Jesus! My wooden spoon is made out of wood, hence the name. Be careful, it's flammable. Like, kill me if you must, but spare the spoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> if that's where you want to go. And this guy's throwing firebombs at a wooden pole. Maybe I shouldn't feel so good about myself for winning these fights. Did he try and throw a rock at me? Or maybe it was a bomb. <laughs> I'm just thinking of unconventional weapons now. Is somebody shooting at me? It really sounds like somebody's shooting at me, but I don't know where they are. Oh, here you are. That's the only thing about spoons. I always say this about spoons. There is no range on a spoon. Like sometimes I want to eat from long range and it's just not possible. I think there's room for improvement in eating utensils. Hey, if you're drinking a potion, I'm drinking a potion. Honestly, I'm not sure how you even drink. Like you look all bony. How does it stay in your system? See, look me. I drink, it goes in tummy. I feel nice. Oh, he stopped. He's learning. Oh no, no, that's just pain pissed him off. I'm like gloating that I have organs and skin. Oh, it's some sort of like tornado of dead bodies. How terrifying. Oh, and I threw one over. <laughs> I love disrespecting the dead. You can quote me on that. The reason I love disrespecting the dead is because they don't fight back. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at the size of you. Okay, <laughs> I won't be disrespecting you. Oh, I wonder what you're gonna do. Enemy ahead. <laughs> and there's just someone standing there with the barrel. Can I dodge it or should I just... No, let, let me just... Let me walk out of the way. There we go. Go. He probably waited there for decades to set off that trap. How embarrassing. Okay, so another boss fight. I don't know if I fancy my chances, even though I feel like the spoon's gotten a little stronger, but it's still not great. I don't suppose you'd fancy swapping weapons, do you? Oh god, I tried to get a cheap shot and it didn't pay off. Okay, I can't even hit him there. God damn it. Oh my god, that took off so little. And I just dodged into his attack. I'm screwed. I'm absolutely screwed. Oh no, no, I gotta stop falling down. No, I died. <laughs> what balance though? Even in death, he's just balancing up on that wall. I know, I know, I died. Is it any surprise, really? Sorry, rotting fleshing corpse. I've decided I don't find you attractive anymore and I no longer wish to spoon you. Where does this guy even come from? Oh, he just decides hello <laughs> and pops up over the tower. Who even needs a weapon that big? You're obviously overcompensating for something. All right, let me show you that spoon size doesn't matter. It's the way you stir the pot. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe spoon size does matter. Wait, is that... Someone's trying to get through the mist to me. <laughs> oh, that was a heroic landing. What if I use that on him? Drop down from the tower, hit him with my spoon. It's the perfect plan. Here goes nothing. 
Oh, that took a lot of health from him. Can we just keep doing that, buddy? That was fun. <laughs> Ow. Okay, okay, you get your hit, and then let me get up, and then I get to climb, and... Uh, okay. I feel like I might need to kill a lot of enemies to get my spoon strong enough to actually kill this boss. Okay, it's starting to get pretty strong now. I'm also learning that maybe I'm overusing the heavy attack just a little bit, because the light attack seems pretty strong as well. Okay, that's some damage. And now I'm falling. Okay, now just roll through his legs and we're gonna run away. Feel like that should be my plan more often. Running away. Okay, he hit me, but that's fine. That's all part of the plan. Now we run away again. Please, please climb. Please climb. That's fine. It's still part of the plan. Yeah, keep looking at me. <laughs> there we go. There's more damage. Okay, this plan is actually sort of working. I am dead. God damn it. Oh, wait. No, no. I'm good. I'm good. All part of the plan, I assure you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I go down? I've changed my mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that comical fall? What was that? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, I think he actually outruns me. So I need to wait for him to attack, roll, and then try to get up. Okay, not bad, not bad. This is going pretty good, actually. I don't know why I healed. That was such a waste. There was absolutely no need for that. I'm just used to being on the verge of death, you know? <laughs> okay, this is working out well. If I can do that once more, I think we've got this. Okay, looking good, looking good. And now we'll drop down on him and give him the... Oh, I thought I missed him. Okay, that didn't kill him, but that's okay. I'll just go... Eh. On his little toesies. Great! We beat another boss with a wooden spoon! <laughs> Victory achieved! Okay, now that I've beaten my second boss, I'm convinced these things are weapons of mass destruction and my fear of Irish mammies has been valid. You see, Irish mammies will really get you into a false sense of security because you'll go over to someone's house and they'll all be like, Oh, Jesus, it's lovely to see you. And how's your mother? Oh, would you like any food? You're starving, I'd say. I'll make you some food there and a cup of tea. But when they got this at the ready, you gotta be careful. Don't let them get you. I feel like I'm, I'm giving the false message that my mom just like beat the bejesus out of me with a wooden spoon. <laughs> Or like everyone's mom, just like every Irish mom attacked me with it. That is not the case. Humanity? Oh no, whatever humanity I had was lost there. All I feel is desperation. Did not know I could destroy stuff by rolling into it. Good to know. There's gonna be a lot of destroyed stuff now. Hey dude, praise the spoon! Don't fancy fighting you with my spoon. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, yes, poisoned, but how do I stop it? What do I do? I'm dying. Do I just drink a potion or what do I do? No, it hasn't cured my poison. Undead parish. Well, I'm about to join you guys soon if I can't figure out the poison situation. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Drink a bit of liquid courage and let's get in there. I'm gonna die. What do I do? <laughs> Oh, die, apparently. Okay, I guess the trick is, is to not get poisoned in the first place, right? But that's easier said than done. We'll bring you out here, give you a little smack. Okay, that worked. And we've one more, follow me. Uh-oh. Okay, just about. Thank God I can one-shot them. Spooning skill leveled up. There we go, not too bad. It should be easier when I'm not slowly dying, both in-game and inside. Am I going to be able to do anything to him? Because I really don't feel like I'm going to be able to do anything. Can I stealth attack this thing? Okay, well, okay, maybe it wasn't the best idea. It doesn't seem to be as strong as I thought it would be, to be fair. Still strong, still beating me, don't get me wrong. Okay, still killing me, don't get me wrong. I, I apologize for trash-talking you, but that's very doable. I overestimated my opponent, and I think that actually got me killed. If I just fought it normally, I think I would have done okay. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I'm overestimating myself. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually going fine. <laughs> All I need to do is run around a bit, let him do his little attacks, and then go over and bop him with my spoon. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple, actually. <laughs> now I feel bad. He reminded me of myself. Stupid. Mystery key. Fantastic. Because that's what I need. More confusion. This is probably a mistake, but I'm going into the white light again. No? Okay, this is calm. Yeah, this is fine, actually. This is not fine. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This way isn't fine either. 
Oh no, <laughs> sounded like he enjoyed that. Wait, that was it? I was running from that? <laughs> I gotta stop overestimating my opponents. <laughs> Maybe my spoon is growing stronger. So if he's another one of them, surely I can just one hit him as well. Yeah, okay. I'm big strong spoon lord. A night shield, don't need it, got a spoon. Okay, I really don't like to look at this area and I haven't saved in so long. Having said that, do I need to save? I'm kind of a master of spoon martial arts. Try rolling. <laughs> Okay, there's something above me. You couldn't have warned me about that. No, you just want to be like, hey, roll. Oh no, I thought if I left the church, he might be okay with me, but no, he's chasing me. I really, really don't like this fight. Can I, did I tell you that already? Oh God. Look, I just want to pillage an altar. Is that really so wrong? Oh, confession, oh, isn't that nice? I'd like to confess that I'm terrified. Oh, where are you bringing me now? They're sending me straight to hell, but you're supposed to forgive my sins. God, I think I've been at the tanning salon too long. They just left me inside all day and I was too socially anxious to say anything. Oh, hey. Wait, have I done a full loop? Hee hee hee, yay! <laughs> Having fun. This guy must be like, Jesus Christ, this guy's a lunatic. Wait, 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 what have I clicked on? What have I clicked on? I thought that was one of the campfires. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't want to do a battle of stoicism gazebo. Oh, it's only available online. Oh, rats have really wanted to do that. Okay, unfortunately, I cannot prove that I am the best Dark Souls player ever because I can't go online because I'm using a mod and whatnot, which is only giving me a disadvantage and I'm confident I would beat anyone and everyone, but I guess that's the way it has to be. But let me know if you want to see more Spoon Souls or any other Dark Souls videos. I got one other idea that I think is pretty good. Big shout out to Inferno. Their channel is in the description. They made the mod for me. Check out their channel. They got a lot of wacky videos on there. Some really good stuff. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.